What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about if your handedness matters in terms of reducing jump shot challenge. This one came from a comment request and I know it sounds crazy, it's not like the typical topic that content creators talk about but if you think about it, it kinda makes sense. Like if there's any difference then it could be a big factor on your game. Like if you know that if you're right handed that it is much better for you to have your opponent on the left side than right side then you can apply that on your thought process when playing. Try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense, it's not going to be that long anyway, every part is important, and after watching, please let me know in the comment section what do you think. So for the first test, I performed the sequence here in lots of repetitions on two sets, one for right-handed and one for left-handed, and I'll get their average coverage. In that way, I can see if your handedness will change it. And to make this test more accurate, I'll make sure that the positioning of two players, the shooter and the defender, will be identical on all samples. And I will just hold right stick up on the defender, so it will just challenge it straight away, so I don't need to worry about making the jump timing identical on all samples. That will reduce the margin of error. So now for the results, surprisingly, it's the other way around. For the right-handed one, I got an average of 20.45%, and for the left-handed one, which has the ball physically closer to the defender, everything was open. At that point, I knew that something was wrong so I made a split screen comparison to see what's up and as you can see there, defenders and shooters positioning were the same, the reflex and the defenders were the same as well. The only thing that I noticed is the shooters jump towards their weak hand side as they shoot. So the right handed shooter jumps to the left drifting closer to the defender while the left handed one jumps to the right side which is his weak hand side drifting away to the defender that is why the left handed one was always open. And you can even see on the alignment here, the left-handed one really drifted away from the defender and the right-handed one got closer to the defender. Which kind of makes sense, that's why the result was like that. So before we go to the second test, just want to quickly promote my new gaming channel, would be really awesome if you guys can support me with that. Drop a like, leave a feedback or of course subscribe, I'll leave the link in the pinned comment section down below. So on the second test, same process but I changed their jump shot basis to Anthony Davis because as you can see here, on base 98, you are jumping on the weak hand side but with 80, it is pretty much on the same spot. So for the results, as we expected, it's about the same now. I know there's a bit of a gap there but I assume that's just a margin of error and even if it's not, it's too small for you to worry about. So now for the summary, the handedness doesn't really matter in terms of jump shot coverage and it's the jump shot base that matters. So check your base now and if it's drifting on a side, then better to put that behind your head. Always remember that if your base jumps to the right, then it means it's better to have your defender on the left side so you'll drift away to the challenge all the time. And vice versa of course. I told you the topic sounds crazy but man, you just don't know what you'll find out on test things like this. So again, let me know in the comment section what do you think about these. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.